Please allow me to introduce Captain Nicholas J. Diena, the commanding officer of the USS Harry S. Truman. On this solemn occasion, we stand ready to carry out a duty, which is also a privilege, to render appropriate military honors for our fallen shipmates. The duty is a privilege because we have the opportunity to reflect on the rich tradition of service, which we have inherited from the men and women who have gone before us wearing the cloth of the nation. The tradition of service is rooted in our understanding of what it means to be a citizen of the United States of America ready to set aside personal convenience, willing to undertake significant personal sacrifice, able to carry the burden of advanced citizenship in defense of our nation. What we do today links us to this grand tradition of service and to the man we honor in this committal ceremony who was ready, willing, and able to serve our country with honor, with courage, and with commitment. On long and lonely watches, we can be encouraged by the knowledge that our shipmate too stood the watch. In times of operational challenge, we can be inspired by the dedication of those who fought our nation's wars and have kept the peace. When the work is hot, noisy, and dirty, we can be assured that others have endured this and more for the sake of service to our nation. If we wonder at the breadth and scope of the vistas we survey, we should remember that we stand on the shoulders of giants. Burial at sea is one way in which we honor the memory of a fellow service member. Historians have documented that burials at sea have been conducted by seafaring people down through the ages. Throughout our history, the U.S. Navy has regularly conducted burials at sea out of necessity as our naval forces operated far from home ports for extended periods. Since the conclusion of World War II, many of our fellow service members and veterans have elected to be buried at sea. With these things in mind, we follow in the footsteps of those who have gone before us. As with all naval traditions, we take great pride in providing this service and final tribute to a fellow service member. On behalf of the sailors of USS Harry S. Truman, I extend our deepest sympathies to our shipmates' family and friends. We give thanks for his spirit of patriotism and noble service to the United States of America. To our shipmate, Lieutenant Junior Grade Richard Peoples, United States Navy veteran, we say, job well done, sir. Rest in peace. The 23rd Psalm reads, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let us pray. Almighty God, make us aware of your presence and of all those who have served our country with distinction. Deal graciously with their families and friends, giving them comfort and consolation. Finally, make us and all generations to follow deeply grateful for their selfless sacrifice, inspired by their example. May we set aside selfish ambition and dedicate ourselves to the noble cause of freedom and peace. Amen.
Let us pray. In the sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to the Almighty God our brother Richard, and we commit his body to the deep, in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Heavenly Father, the peace of mind that assures those who sorrow in time of trouble. In the midst of loss, give eyes to see the eternal light of your goodness and the blessed security of your presence. We are your children and seek your care. Console us with the assurance of your grace and give strength as we affirm our trust in you. Amen. <laughs>